Hi everyone, and let's start with conditionals as I promised you in the last video. So we'll learn how we can use operators or what operators are. And let's create our first PHP and conditional to use operators. So let's save this as, let me go to my computer here, XAMPP and hdocs and let's save this as test.php okay um, make sure you have your XAMPP uh, running or your Apache and MySQL running so let's create our first conditional which is the if condition and pretty much it's um, it's very similar to JavaScript so we just type if and then parenthesis and then a condition here okay and then if that condition is true we do something here okay so a good example is let's say if three equals three okay and we use the double symbol equal to compare anything which is equal to the other type echo and it works okay and semicolon let's save this let me run this in uh, here test and there it is okay it works so what about if I put here a four okay so now three if three equals four echo this probably it will not work okay because the conditional is or the the comparison is not true okay so let me check and there it is nothing appears so to show something whenever you have a condition which is not true, you type here else. And you type echo the condition is not true. Let me go back to Chrome and there it is okay so you have uh, the option to show something to the user whenever the condition is not true now you can also use strings in here so let's type uh, for example Victor and here you can type Victor and instead of it works uh, let's type the condition is true let's save this and let me check the condition is true okay now for numbers you can use the less than symbol okay so if three is less than four it's true so you will echo this let me check there it is now what about if I put here 4 if 4 is less than 4 which is false so, so it will echo out this one here let me check and there it is okay and you can put the bigger than symbol as well so this would be true okay great you can also use the equal the less than or equal to so this means that if 4 is less than or equal to 3 let, let me type 4 so if 4 is or this first number is uh, less than or equal to 4 which is the case echo out this let me check there it is okay it's true uh, but if we type a six 
it will also be true but if we type a 3 it will not be true because 3 is less than um, 4 and it's not true okay uh, we can use also the bigger than and equal to it works the same way okay now there's also another um, very common uh, operator that we can use it it's not equal to okay so the exclamation symbol and then the equal and this means if this value is not equal to this second value um, we will show this okay uh, else we will show this so in this case 4 is not equal to 3 okay so we will echo out this let me check yes and there it is okay but if we have this if 4 is not equal to 4 it will show it's not true okay because actually 4 is equal to 4 okay anyway you will learn uh, how to implement these and you'll see how these operators will work with um, more advanced code later on the course don't worry you also have a little bit more complex stuff let's create a variable first let's create um, say name equals to uh, Victor and here let's say uh, name one equals let's leave it in, in blank okay don't type anything let's save this so now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use the and operator and the or so let's type if name and name one let me check here okay the condition is not true let me type here a name. The condition is true. So what happens here is that um, whenever you have something as a value uh, to a variable, it's considered true. Okay, you have something, so it's true. If you don't have nothing, it's false. Okay, so basically here, this condition says, if this variable is true and this variable is also true, which means if this variable has something um, as a value and this has something as a value, do this. The condition is true. Else, the condition is not true. Okay, so let's save this. It's not true. If we don't have nothing here, if none of the variables have nothing, they're not true okay so they need a value uh, this is very common uh, code to see if something that inside a variable has a value or a result and we can check it out here you can also do this and there it is okay we also have the or operator which basically is if name or name one let me delete one of these let me delete both so if name is true or name one is true if one of them is true echo out this so the problem is that both variables don't have any value so none of these are true okay but if we type here Victor, it says if name or name one are true, echo out this. The name variable is true, so it will echo out this. And there it is. Okay. Um, so make sure you try several different possibilities. Um, I know this could be a little bit confusing in the beginning. Uh, anyway, if you still have any doubts, you can ask me or post your questions on the questions section or just follow the next lectures you'll understand uh, a lot better with more examples coming up okay so that's it and see you guys later bye